the case this week to its weighing time. Hi there, John here, and welcome to my carnival journey. Now it's starts week two now, and as you would have seen at the start of the video, today's my weigh day, and I'm happy to report I lost uh, 12 pounds there. Uh, so 12 pound loss is a bit excessive, and I'm fully aware of the fact that the first week on any sort of low carb style diet, so you're gonna lose a lot of water weight, because carbs hold a lot of water. So, although it's a good result, I can't deny that, I'm very happy with it. I think uh, fasting also helped, and also, um, getting some exercise done in the first week and uh, if you've not seen my last video and I started an exercise and you want to see how that went uh, check out uh, that video I'll put links up above so you can uh, go and see how I got on with that also as far as weight loss is concerned I think next week's weigh is going to be more interesting the water weight should have gone now pretty much so it's going to be a sort of more realistic uh, look at how I'm getting on with the diet and how it's affecting my weight so make sure you subscribe to my channel if not already to uh, get notifications Turn that bell on so you can see how I've got on next week when I have my way in. Okay, so today I'm planning to go for a run shortly. I've just got back from taking the dog for a walk, which is also good exercise. Then after that, I'm planning to pop off to the supermarket to get my food for the week. I'm planning to get a few new things today, so when I get back, as long as I've got them in stock, I will show you what I've got and um, what I'm going to be trying this week. Okay, so I just got back from the supermarket and let's have a look and see what I brought. Okay, so start from this side, I've got some single cream, I think it's called Pouring Cream in America. And that's going with my um, brain broth coffees that I've been having when I break my fasts on a daily basis. I've got some salt, um, salted butter here, um, sea salt crystals in it. Uh, I've got some more crispy strips because I'm a big fan of them. And uh, to do run out of this tonight, I've got a special um, ribeye steaks from the shop I went to. Yeah, looking forward to that. I think it's going to be nice. I was considering trying to cook that in the air fryer, but I'm not sure I will in case it goes wrong. I'm not sure it's nice, so I'll cook that probably the conventional way. Moving over this to this next bit. Here I have, um, I've had this before, beef ox cheeks. So we yeah, are planning to cook them at the weekend in a slow cooker, I think, and uh, give them a good long cook and see how they go, or I may even have it later on the week, I don't know, to see how it goes really. And the other thing I'm going to have this week, which I've not had well, I once before a long time ago, is oxtail. Now last time I had this, it didn't work out properly, uh, I didn't cook it long enough, so I'm going to make sure I give that a nice long cook in a slow cooker as well. Uh, moving on, up here we've got some various different types of sliced beef, we've got some, some salt beef there, um, topside beef, and peppered beef. I think the carnivore diet suits me quite well because I never really had a problem eating meat on its own or slices of meat. So yeah, I'm always happy to snack on them. Uh, so yeah, I'll be eating them this week. Here we have some jumbo prawns. I like cooked prawns. Well, <laughs> I don't think I like raw prawns. Well, yeah, I like prawns anyway. Yeah, I'll be having them at some point. Uh, mushrooms there, uh, yeah. Not um, carnivore, no, they're not strictly a vegetable, so I'm not going to apologise, but let's go with a steak I'm going to have tonight, I think. And then we're moving into more uncharted territory, which I've never had this before at all. It's uh, smoked mackerel fillets, uh, ready to eat, um, already peppered, because I don't mind having pepper and spices, things like that. I'm not going to be bothered about that. Yeah, so I'm um, <laughs> a bit scared of trying that, to be honest. Uh, I've never had it before. I don't mind trying, trying new meats, but new fish, mm, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that, but I am aware that you're supposed to eat oily fish, it's supposed to be very good, it's also a good source of fat and omega-3s and all that type of stuff. So yeah, I should give that a try, and I'll probably film that actually when I try it, so you can see my reaction and uh, whether I like it or not. So that's pretty much it for this side of uh, what I bought from the first shop, but I had to pop into another shop as well because I didn't tell well, these things, which is all I need to take to me tomorrow night. Some ready cooked uh, drumsticks. Uh, so I'll have them tomorrow. I mean, when I was in, in the um, queue to pay for the shopping I bought over here, I did think oh, I could have bought some drumsticks to cook myself to take to work, but I have to admit, I can't actually be bothered. So I just thought I'd have the ones that are already pre cooked and take them tomorrow with me. And I also picked up some more prawns because I'm a fan of them. 
all this type of prawns, different sayings we see in the UK. And um, yeah, they're very nice, they're nice prawns then. And I couldn't resist picking up some pork loin slices, so which I'll have at some point this week as well. So yeah, that's my um, shopping roll for the week. As I said, I think I'll probably have maybe that on Thursday, that for the weekend, and I'll be having this tonight, and that tomorrow night. So that's pretty much the week sorted. Yes, there's two days missing there, Friday and Saturday. I'll talk to you more about what's going on on Friday and Saturday um, a bit later. Okay. Okay, it's just finished my dinner and I had the ribeye steak with the pork crispy strips, some melted butter and the mushrooms. Decided not to have the mackerel tonight. I think I'll save that for later on the week. So make sure you subscribe to my channel with your notification bells turned on so you can come back and see how I get on trying that for the first time. That could be quite an interesting one, so it'd be interesting to see how it goes. Now, I've also mentioned earlier that some of my weeks not accounted for when I did my shopping haul. And that's because my daughter's birthday this week. So you've got some plans there. We've got a buffet one night, which should be okay actually. I can just choose some meat options from the menu. So it's not going to derail me, derail me too much. However, the other night we're going out for a meal. So my plan there is to try to choose sort of a low carb-ish type of meal. And hopefully that won't derail me too much because in the past, on the, these type of occasions, I've used it as an excuse to sort of ditch diet, you know, eat a load of rubbish. But that's not what I want to do this time. I'm going to try and get a bit straight back onto the diet after it and try and choose a low carb option when we give the meal. So, yes, come back for the second part of this week's video and find out how I got on sticking to the diet with um, my daughter's birthday and the various celebration meals and buffets going on for that and also find out how I got on trying the mackerel so make sure you subscribed hit the notification bell and uh, why not share it with any friends who are considering trying the carnivore diet because then they may find some of my experiences useful but that's it for now so I'll catch you all next time okay bye now